This is a vision of Shambhala, the mythical land of Buddhism. Here in the northwestern part of Sichuan province, a treasure trove of wisdom has been accumulated in the course of many generations. The stories and legends that are told here are part of a thousand years of tradition that is the lifeblood of the local people. The thousand-year-old legend of King Gazar has been inscribed on the National Cultural Preservation List.
The play has been performed at monasteries here for many centuries. All the actors are locals from the surrounding villages. In Mochka, a performance is the highlight of the year, attended by everyone from the nearby villages, men, women, young, and old. As a children's game and a form of worship, the story of King Kesar has been handed down from one generation to the next. In Maseritsangma, Hikiki, the Kikunga check it in Tostemo in Bala, Timina does a Kunga check a Talori, Timtonam, Tarncham, Genera, Timimo, ordinary. Choke, <laughs>
When the sky clears, Barchi and his friends head into the mountains to gather the materials they need for making incense. Jerry, who did Kakaton, who made him 
Ko <laughs> Because <laughs> This Duga scriptural printing lamasery is popularly known as the Grand Repository of Tibetan Culture. It has the world's largest collection of Tibetan language texts. The old printing blocks are still in use to this day. <laughs> The printing blocks housed here are inscribed with almost 70% of the Tibetan classics. There are 217,500 blocks altogether, 
containing 260 million characters. The oldest block he has restored dates back 300 years. Special paper is used in printing, made of the root of a noxious weed. The paper is tough and long-lasting and is resistant to damage from rats and insects. Books have been printed this way for centuries. Nothing has changed for the past 300 years. The <laughs> This is a traditional coming-of-age ceremony. It's one of the most significant moments in the life of a young woman. From now on, she will no longer be considered a young girl, but will be regarded as an adult. The Jarongs are a Tibetan clan living in Danba. Danba is famous for the ancient watchtower. Its newest building is the primary school. This is where Solang Ram is located. Solang Ram is a sixth grade elementary school student, and she, like the rest of her classmates, is excited by a new classroom installation, an LED screen. Uh, Chomodon 
They are preparing for the coming of age ceremony tomorrow. Besides the traditional costumes, both sisters will have their hair arranged in dozens of fine, thin braids. It's a style that takes several hours of work to complete. Gaitong Parents do their best to ensure their daughters look good in the ceremony. It can cost them a fortune. The beautiful decorative items they wear are expensive, but later they'll also serve as part of their wedding dowry. This temple in Garjia County houses an annual debate on Buddhist sutras. The nuns who participate are all from local monasteries. In Tibetan, 
a female monk is called Jumo. In Gansi Prefecture, Sichuan, the Jumo's debate contest is held once a year. Compared with male monks, they seldom leave their monastery, and the environment of practice is often simpler. The annual debate has become one of the most important festivals for these participating Jumo. Some of the temples where the strong teams are located, even if the scale is not large, it will conduct special training for its team all year round. Getting a place in the competition will bring a great sense of honor and accomplishment for both the temple and its Jumo. This is why they work hard to hone their skills. As the debate progresses, clapping and stamping become more insistent. The participants are so absorbed in the debate that nothing around them seems to matter or even exist. Their knowledge is transformed into powerful arguments with which to defeat their rivals. The two sides can shift quickly between positive and negative. No one can predict the outcome. Through the unpredictability and change, they find the essence of life. Mandala is a style of painting depicting a Buddhist paradise. The monks produce mandalas using multicolored sand. The painting is completed within seven days. Then the monks and their disciples gather around it to read sutras. Seven days after that, the monks destroy the elaborate painting. The birth and death of the mandala symbolizes the constant cycle of change in the world. Life comes from Mother Nature and returns to her. Yeah. 
te tu hamo hamo chun chun pug chun chun lo tu dang rin chan chan je te le ji me tan je ge gabo zo le ge ngao te ga no yin gabo zo ke ji ta lo ka du yin shi ma so ta ta ji na lo nie ge ze ge kon la pa bon le ji ta yin ti ji se le xie chen le ji ta yin ジュンズスクリーンゲーマーのとチョンジャインドでてにこぞんチョンチョンでてにチョンヒチェギテツキタワでてにテツシモンチェンセてにチョンチョンジマンチョンバチルナンダランチョンバチョンチョンヒナ
Every generation carries on something from the preceding one, and every generation creates something of its own. Here at the Gateway to Shambhala, people have ancient stories to tell to the next generation. Their inheritance is something they want to see passed down for all time. 